Meanwhile, the ingredients that I'm cooking with today may seem a little simple at first, but in just a few minutes, we're gonna transform them into a passport that'll take us to the Eiffel Tower. Today, I am making a croque madame, which is a classic French ham sandwich that elevates any meal of the day to fine cuisine, Cameron. It definitely does, Deb. I'm really super does. excited about this. I grew up with this amazing sandwich in so French part good. of Canada, in Quebec, so I'm a huge fan, everybody, truth be told. Pork has culinary ties to cultures across the globe yep. that are history and rich in stories of flavor and togetherness, so I can't wait to travel with you today. All right, you're gonna make it right beside me, and you probably already know how to make these because, like you said, you grew up with them. They're so yummy. They just really elevate a ham sandwich. They it sure do. It makes it so much better. So we are gonna start with some really great thick country bread is what I'm using. You can use a sourdough, you can use whatever you'd like, but I think the thicker the slices, the better because we put this in the oven and we layer it with all kinds of cheese sauce. So it really needs to be a bread that's It really hold makes up. it on some level too, doesn't it? Just yeah. to kind of really ties it together with this And it's a little bread. chewy that way, you know? Okay, so now you're gonna take some Dijon mustard okay. and you are going to put that. Both sides, Deb? On both sides. I mean, you could do one side if you like, but I prefer both. I mean, if we're making a, a croque madame, we gotta have Dijon mustard. That's right. Stay in the French theme, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, croque monsieur too. You know the difference between croque monsieur and croque madame? I do, but tell everybody. The difference between the croque monsieur and the croque madame, <laughs> I just like saying croque. One of them has an egg, the other one doesn't. The croque madame has an egg, the croque monsieur has no egg. So that is gonna top off our delicious sandwich. Now Debbie's actually talking with a French accent now. The, 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 the croque monsieur no. has no egg. The croque monsieur. Have an egg. So you're gonna take really, um, I like my slices of ham thick. Yes. So I take some thick ham slices and I lay it on too. one side, just like that. I'll tell you what, if you were making oh, this ham and cheese sandwich for the children, they will never eat it any other way. That's right. They're gonna love this. So now you're gonna take Gruyere cheese. That's another staple of the croque madame au monsieur. And you're gonna put that on one of the sides, just this like that. This looks so okay. good already. And I know we're just kind of getting started, right? Then you're gonna put the two pieces. Man of the sandwich together just like that. Now, you could grill this and be done with it, but then it wouldn't be a croque madame. <laughs> so instead, what we're gonna do now is make the bechamel cheese sauce. So it's, it's just a cheese roux, really. So okay. over here, I have going some, first I have uh, toasted the flour just a little bit to get rid of that floury flavor. Yeah. Add some butter. Then I'm gonna add in some milk, some more gruyere, a little bit of nutmeg, some salt and pepper. And you really wanna watch your bechamel sauce because you don't want it to burn. How do you know? How do you know when it's kind of getting close to burning? <laughs> you can smell it. Oh, you can smell it. You can it. smell okay, it and you can see I'm it. I'm asking so. for somebody else, I'm right. asking for me, you know what I mean? Oh boy, I'm smelling the milk. But you can smell it and you can see it, so you have to be very careful. You don't wanna walk away from a bechamel. Okay. And we add Beautiful. the rear and the nutmeg, and that comes together quite beautifully like the one over here you see. It's gonna be about five minutes because it's not enough where it would take longer than that. Gotcha. Just a small little saucepan. Okay. Okay, then Cameron, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over there and you are going to, you are going to top yours with some bechamel. Okie dokie. And then we are gonna pop these guys in the oven. Yeah. And while we do that, we are going to make a, an egg that's, you know, it's generally over easy is how you wanna make it. Deb. But I gotta say, my favorite thing, probably my favorite thing about uh, cooking with pork is that its its versatility is honestly unmatched. Whether you're craving something decadent like pork belly or ribs or something lean Oof. like tenderloin or chops, I mean, pork's flavor gives life to any cuisine. Am I right about that, Deb? You are 100% right. And all of those dishes that you just mentioned, oh, you want me oh, to I'll, do I'll it? Grab, I'll grab it, I'll grab it. All go. those dishes that you just mentioned, we have made here. Oh, there you go. There you go, monsieur. Yes, look at this. This is decadence. <laughs> so we pop this in the oven. This goes into the oven 400 degrees for just about eight minutes. You just wanted to get okay. that yummy, ooey gooeyness on top. Beautiful. A ham of yours. I'll put it in there as well. Okay. And I know you have a swap out over there. Oh, yours looks great, Cameron. Thank you very much. So then, Can't after wait. about eight minutes, 400 degrees, look at that. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? So oh my gosh, that's so good. And in the meantime, you've made your over easy egg. Deb. You're just gonna put that on top and dig in. Are you kidding me just right like now? Just like that. How oh easy boy. is that? I don't even know where to start. Mm. Again, that's, that's not your average ham sandwich. No. Oh, go ahead, just pick it up. <laughs> this is 
<laughs> Absolutely decadent. Isn't it amazing? Oh my goodness. Welcome to France. Hey everybody, no matter what's going on in your life or in the world, pork, like the ham in this sandwich, brings us together to create real, lasting memories. When you think of backyard barbecues, holiday dinners, or even something as simple as Tuesday night dinner, pork is at the center of it all. So make sure you visit hallmarkchannel.com for this amazing recipe. Debbie, merci. De rien. Vive la France. It's so good.